Okay, so I usually keep a series of brushes in my hands and with the palette because you work really fast. So we're going to be starting with the big fan brush, the one inch sable, and the half inch sable. With the two sables we're going to be doing rocks and with the fan brush we're doing grass. We're going to be working in a foreground. First I'm going to quickly brush in a foreground. Just kind of mix a little white, yellow ochre, and start creating grass, like so. Very quick, quick move. Maybe bring a little green, more yellow ochre, a little brown. Just kind of be creative and mix that palette up on your paintbrush. Like I said, the more colors you can get in there, the better and more realistic it will look. Kind of scrubbing the canvas. Now the foreground becomes a little richer than everything else. So you want to start introducing deeper, the raw umber, a little more gold, and then you can start bringing the grass. You can either feather it up like so, or you can brush down like so. Skip around, leave, leave spaces here and there. Make sure you don't need to keep, keep these blotches out, so you can brush those out real quick like so. And go across the water, kind of beating the canvas with this brush. more white and gold, just jumping all over the canvas like so. A little more white and gold, gets lighter as it goes to the back. Okay, now I'm going to uh, do rocks. Rocks are easier than you think. Uh, white, gold, brown and you just kind of I'm going to be slapping the canvas carefully so make sure the brush doesn't run over the water so it's like this this is just how I'm starting to introducing rocks into this painting that that will be the smaller rocks in the background these these are closer so they'll be bigger strokes bigger blotches of paint barely see that but we'll add more uh, later to let you get a, a hang of what I'm doing here to bring them to life. So there's the raw umber to create shadows. Okay now with the smaller half inch sable dip into white. It's got a little color in there. See that palette? But you can put a lot of white on there because this is how you're going to create your highlights of the rocks. I'm just jumping all over the place. They can kind of disappear going out that way. So it's like a rocky little waterfront here. More white. I'm not thinking a whole lot about it. I'm just kind of slapping it here and there. Without even having to rinse your brush, you can keep dipping into Here's the dark, raw umber dark. And raw umber combined makes a very dark. That's how you get a little gray in there, more shadows. to the water. And you also want to create uh, where the water takes the washes away the earth. So you can do little strokes like so, skipping around here and there. This could also be reflections of the rocks in the water by doing little strokes left to right. Not too many. 
if they get too dark or feel too dark you can always you know bring back white and blue like so it just starts to take place so now I'm gonna create the edge of the water back here just little pieces at a time you wouldn't come much further than this because you wouldn't see the edge of the banks down here you'd only see it in here and here